Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Oops. I'm presenting to audience all of the things that I use just at once so you can just see everything that I've got here. You can buy it on the spot as you wish. Hello. Hi. Everyone is very punctual. Thank you for that. Are you guys seeing multiple options here with all of my shoppable pieces? Oh. Okay. Products. Okay, do you guys see multiple products? Only one? Shoot, where did they go then? product. Hmm. Do you still only see one? I see seven. Okay, good. That's what you're supposed to see. Okay. Maybe we'll wait just like another minute or two. I'm just going to preface this with like, if I yawn at all during this, it is not because I'm not dialed in. It's because this SI launch was real. I'm exhausted, but I'm back. I'm in action. Just like I'm on my third coffee. If you click the floor four square button guys at the bottom, I believe you'll see all of the products. So there's multiple steps to my everyday hair. So I'll show you what I do and I'll be curious to see if you guys try this at home or if you think it's ridiculous that I do this many steps or if you learn something different than you've ever seen before. A lot of options. Um, also, feel free to ask questions, um, chat to me, you know, I'm on this camera solo, so hang out, whatever you got, I'm, I'm here to answer your questions. We're hanging out for, for half an hour, so I'm all yours. All right, okay, so, as you saw in my little preview, if you saw it, I worked out this morning. My hair was very sweaty and wet. So I came home and I showered. I personally work out or sweat most days, which means I do wash my hair most days, which like, I don't know if my hairstylist saw this right now, if she'd be like super thrilled about that. But I think my hair is doing fine. And I use Orbe, it's called Signature, um, the Gold Luster Shampoo and Conditioner. These are super hydrating. They're a daily indulgence. So personally, I have drier hair, curlier hair, thick, wavy, frizzy -er hair. So I'm washing it regularly, but I'm really putting a lot of hydration in. I do these. I also do a mask very often, and I really, really do notice the difference. So if I use like a hotel shampoo, as I was for the last few days, really significantly notice a difference of like, so I just blow dried my hair and my blow dry is basically just like throw my head upside down and blow dry. I would have done that live for you, except for it takes me like 40 minutes and it's very loud. So I don't think that would have worked. So normally when I do that, my, my hair is like, maybe I just got electrocuted like this big, but because I used the Oral Whip Bay products today, they're super hydrating. So I blow dried it. I'm not going to say it's like looking its best, but it's also high functioning, you know, like it's fine. So I highly recommend a really good quality shampoo and conditioner, something that really hydrates your hair and kind of gets it into a good spot to start. Cause I'm also going to be putting heat on my hair and I do do it regularly. So I just think it's really important to protect your hair. Step one, step two. So these are Orbe power drops, hydration, anti-pollution. They help I only put them from like, let's say like chin length ish down. So I do it when my hair is wet, but it's gone through a lot this past weekend. So let's just give it a little more fun, you know? So here are my drops. I have a lot of hair, so you have to kind of like do it accordingly. Like don't put too much in if you have 
a thinner or less amount of hair because then it will just be oily. But uh, mix it in there and then just kind of like from the chin down, brush that in with your fingers. Definitely recommend doing this when it's wet and it helps it dry a little nicer. I definitely think that's another reason why my hair isn't like the most massive frizz ball right now because I did apply that. I also love the fragrance, so it never hurts. And it just kind of helps make these bottoms feel good because again, when I blow dry my hair, I literally just flip my head upside down and like hope for the best and do a few brushes, but I'm in no way like got around brush and know what I'm doing. I really just like toss it upside down. So now, as you can see, I've got like some nice kind of interesting waves in here that are not even, the bottoms are a little frizzy and like today is a good day for the blow dry. And then personally, I end up with like a lot of kind of interesting texture all the way around the edge. But actually something that I did that I have found really, really helps is I got a keratin treatment only here only on the very edges, all the way around like the crown. And now what I do normally think of as like my lion's mane curls that if I put my hair in a ponytail, I'm just like fully a crown of curls at the front, frizzy curls, not cute curls. Um, they've really tamed. They really aren't as aggressive as they have been in the past. But like one side's curly, one straight, like who knew that was gonna happen? It's very, I find wavy hair is very hard to have consistency with. So that's why I do my hair every day. So I just use a scrunchie. I was actually thinking about this earlier. Does anyone here watch Sex in the City? If you do, if you've liked Sex in the City, there is a very funny episode where Carrie tells Berger that his book is wrong because he had a character that lives in New York City wearing a scrunchie and that that would never happen and that's not true and that no one in New York would wear scrunchies. She needs to bring that back up in this new series that's coming out because scrunchies are in. Not only because they're cute with like a little workout hair, but it's because they don't damage your hair. You're not tearing it. I once went to my colorist and when we dried my hair, you could literally see the line kind of like when my hair was out of where the breakage was because I was using elastics in my hair so regularly, like skinnier ones. You could see like the cut line of where it was breaking off all my top edges that were getting super frizz frizzy. So scrunchy, I mean, for function, maybe it'll go out of style, but just for while you're doing your hair, like I divide my hair into different sections now before I do my curling. So how funny is this? That one's head is like straight and one is wavy. Like, it's really a free curl. Um, I just really think that's important so that you don't damage anything. Okay, next up. This is my trusted and true curling iron. It's T3, it's one and a quarter inch. I've had a lot of curling irons in my life. I used to just use the Con Air from like CVS forever and it did the trick. And then I learned about this. This is the Touch ID one. So one of my favorite features about it is, I just plugged it in. It's got a little like, you can't see me, I'm sorry, it's reverse. Um, I just touched this and then you can actually choose the setting. So like I have it on manual. So I chose like, I have long hair, I have thick hair. I think higher temperatures are better. So you can really customize the iron so that it works perfectly for your hair. Can you guys hear Vestry right now? I don't know what she's barking at, but I can hear her, I'm not sure you can. Um, you can hear it. One second. Especially gas, she just wanted to say hi. There was nothing happening. I don't know what she was barking at. Okay. Fun fact, loves a blow dryer. Okay, <laughs> she's in. Um, okay, so I set this, and one of the reasons that I do really like it, okay, as you can see, sorry, this is interesting. Bad Girl V is it's heating up now. So depending on your hair thickness, length, it will kind of tell you the perfect heat for your hair, which is what I really love about it. It's not gonna burn my hair. It really works wonders. It also heats up so quickly and then it just works super, super well. So T3, one and a quarter inch, it's here if you want it. I really do highly recommend this iron. 
I've been using it for a couple years now. There, that just beeped. It's already heated. You know, like that's like, I feel like my old iron took like 20 minutes to turn on, which it's a lot. So I'm, I'm doing thirds. I put up two thirds of my hair. I split it half down the middle, like as half as possible. And I'm gonna start from the back middle. And my sections are not like super small. You know, this is like a pretty, I'm only gonna do about three on this bottom section. So I go over it, kind of smooth it a couple of times, go halfway down. The iron is facing away from my head. I do a twist up until the root. Just wait a few seconds and then go loosen it down to the bottom. We're going all the way to the top again. And then that's it. Curl one, done. I'm like, look at that difference. That took no time. It is magic. Okay, round two. So I'm just dividing this in about half. Again, a little smoothing if you have wavy hair or curly hair or frizzy hair or any of the above. Hold it for a sec. I'm gonna go to the bottom and then all the way to the top. And then out, same thing. So always twist away from your head. I feel like that's something that a lot of people get so thrown by is which way to do the curl. For me, the way that I do it and what works for me is away from the head. So there, they're not gonna stay like this, don't worry. But this is just like how we like it upon first rounds. So this is three curls and I have a lot of hair, so maybe you don't even need a full three. Again, away from the head. So now the iron is, it's always gonna, the clip, if it's facing the mirror, should go away from your face, whatever side it's on. So it's on my right side and it's gonna twist to the right. Halfway down, up, hold for one sec. And what that does is has the curl start higher. Personally, I like it when my hair waves the whole way down, not just like at the end. So now we go a little loose, all the way up. Hold for another few seconds. And up, great. Okay, divide this guy. I actually find doing my hair quite relaxing and sort of therapeutic. Sometimes like on a Sunday when I'm just, you know, trying to do a self-care Sunday, it just, it's kind of like mesmerizing. I don't know, you're just kind of calming and then your hair just looks so nice and it kind of makes me feel good. So I do this just for fun sometimes. Um, is what, someone asked, is it lightweight? What are we talking about? Is what lightweight? Okay, away and down. Okay, so there's a third of my hair done. Now, scrunchy out. So someone's saying I'm good at using the T3. So I would say of all the hair things, I can curling iron so well. Give me a wand and I'm lost. I don't totally get why. I don't feel like they're that different, but somehow I cannot do it. So I'm trying to teach. Maybe I should watch some wanding tutorials and see where I go. Okay, see the difference between just the ends? Like I don't keep my ends in the iron for too long, but even with just the seconds that I do, these look so much nicer than like, what is this texture? This is like not the greatest. Okay, so I'm going back in the middle. I'm starting at the back, like wherever I feel is the closest to the crown of my head. I'm gonna do my halfway up. And then just loosen it a little, go to the bottom and, and I don't even put the very ends in because I think it looks a little bit more natural. So before I let that out, just so it doesn't get confusing, I'm just going to grab my next section. And I also think because this iron heats up quickly and it is quite warm, it, you don't need to hold it for very long, which is just nice. So I can do my hair so much faster now. Like, let's just get through this product process. I do it a lot. And, you know, I just I don't have that much time to spend on hair every day. So this is just my quickest routine. Halfway up, away from the face, loosen it a little, and again, to the top, and then down, go by my ear. I always end up with little curly bits like here, so I definitely try to smooth these. Sometimes if you put the actual hot part of the tongue closer to your head carefully, don't burn yourself. 
those like just smooth out a little bit better. And those I don't want to be like super curly right here. So I kind of do more of a smoothing job than a curling job. Okay, other side, here we go. Try to make it quick so I can show you all my sprays and everything that I do after. Cause you know, I'm currently in New York City and every state is different, but currently it's very humid and hot. And so if you have a hair texture such as mine, wavy, frizzy, curly, it definitely grows in humidity. That was actually one of the things also at the SI launch. It's so hot in Miami in the summer. It's so humid. So I just can't wear my hair straight. It's just, there's just no hope because it will just grow into a massive frizz ball immediately. So doing waves or curls is just the way to go for me in especially hot climates because it just it's gonna curl whether I want it to or not. There's no way I would have glassy straight hair in hot heat. Okay, this is it guys, look great. No, okay, last round. Top bit, so I kind of blow dry it with my head upside down so it's big and frizzy, but then my last step of blow drying is also always making a part. And personally, I also love, I don't like it when there's a lot of volume right here. So I blow dry this down so it's nice and smooth, whatever part you want. And now I'm on my last round. I'm gonna just pull from the back again. And like, I know we can't always see our back. So try to like get a view of it or just maybe go over some of your back pieces a couple of times because sometimes I do miss them. And then I realize later that the back of my head wasn't looking so cute. You do live in New York, Brittany. Where do you live? Okay, wave. And if I do this, you know, I can sleep on it. I can go back tomorrow. Maybe I'll touch up a couple of them, but really overall, once I show you the spray situation too, it does last. It's not like I have to do this all the time. Oh, moving back to New York, as you should, because it's the best. Um, thank you. I think it's funny now she, she likes my hair, but, um, you know, as a kid, I remember I wore my hair in a ponytail, I think every single day of childhood. And I feel like there were so many lost years that I just didn't understand if I just do my hair, it's great. But if I just let it dry, it's really questionable. It's really like, there are no guarantees. Some days it's fantastic. And some days it's just like a big disastrous mess. So once I found this, you know, hair routine, look at this side, it's already so pretty. And look at this, mm, not great. We're getting there though. Um, but once I sort of, yeah, figured out my game plan and I knew what to do and I just know, you know, if I have like 45 minutes, then I can do like a full shower, wash. So like it is a process, but it also lasts. So it just depends how, and if I now work out maybe a Pilates class, like something like not super sweaty, if I put it in the scrunchie and then take it out after, it's fine. I just do a low pony and a scrunchie so that it lasts longer. Okay, wave, go to the bottom, up, and down, wave. So the ones by my face, I definitely try to wave a little higher because I like when they're away from my face, but also I always take these front pieces and kind of still when they're hot from the wand, I tuck them behind my ear because intentionally it, um, creates the bend so that it's right at your ear. So then later when I take it out, it hasn't like totally happened yet. They bend and kind of frame your face perfectly. So that's why it's, I actually like on purpose when it's still warm from the heater, tuck it up behind my ears. And then it kind of gets the perfect amount of framing. Best three. through most of our curls, right? I think this is looking good. Maybe I'll see, okay, now I'm looking maybe in here, I could do something like these guys are still a little bit 
frizzy wavy, not polished wavy. So we'll go right to the roots, smooth them out, and then do my wave. And also, just to be careful, because I think I've done this before, don't hold the front pieces, especially if you have colored hair. So I get like some little highlights. It's nothing too crazy because like that's my natural hair, but a little bit, and that just does do a little damage to your hair. So then if you hold an iron on it too long, you get breakage. So avoid at all costs. Don't hold it in front of your face for too long because those are kind of like the more sensitive pieces. Um, okay, tucking. And then let's do another little check. I think this one looks like it could use a little bit of help. Smooth all the way to the bottom. Up. Oh my God. I'm sorry if you can still hear her. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but she probably just needs to be cuddled. Okay, so here we are now. If I just walked outside into heat right now, I would just frizz up. So this has been a lifesaver. This is Orbe, it's called Apri Beach. And actually what's great about it too is it's also Kevin's hair product. So we both use it. So we just, this is like the number one thing that I buy all the time because he on short man's hair, it just kind of gives a little shine, a little hold, but like totally it's going to still be natural hair and it just makes your hair last longer. So shake and then some outside pieces, some inside pieces outside pieces and inside pieces and then I'll do a little back shake it out okay so now I'm just looking and I feel like this guy is straighter than this guy so I'm gonna just do my last kind of checks what size is that model so this is the large one but I also where did I put it? I think it's in my dog. Yep. Travel with the uh, mini. So you can bring it because it's an aerosol can. So it's kind of annoying to pack. Like you can't travel um, with that large guy on the plane. So that little one is just kind of easier to bring around. And it's also kind of a midday, you know, if I've been out and my hair's looking a little worse for wear, I just spray a little bit of that and it really sort of gives that shine again. And then I can judge and it's back in action. Okay, so I've sprayed, good, and wide comb, big guy. Just kind of brush them out so they're not too, like, I don't know, too done looking. It's more just gonna be, you still have a fear of brushing my hair if you're doing it, because. I thought it would automatically just like get bigger, but it just kind of breaks it up with a comb like this one. And yeah, then it will do its thing. And that's my everyday hair. Yeah, it gets a wave, but it's not too done. And if I want, maybe I'm noticing, I want a little bit more volume just here. So I'll pick up the top back pieces and do some, some waves like high up. Okay, see, so that creates a little bit more volume at the top, the higher the curl. And the higher the curl just means take a little bit and twist. So now I'm curling like this is right by the root. And then go down to the bottom just for a sec because it's already been done. See, now I just have a bit more shape here. There you go. Okay, does anyone have any questions? Pretty much done my duty. The other thing too is if I'm feeling like my bottoms just, like, so you can see they're not perfect. So I find if I had curled my hair all the way to the bottom, then it sort of looks like pageanty curls, like they're too perfect. And I don't, I want it to just look like, oh, I, somehow woke up with this hair, which I did not, but like it would be a dream if I did. So 
the way to kind of make it look a little bit more natural is to kind of leave these guys out. I go close to the bottom, but I don't put them totally in. But if they're still looking a little frizz, it's just add a little bit more power drops. Like what a great name for exactly what I want. They're not pure oil, so it doesn't make them look like greasy and just kind of smooth those guys out and give them a little hydration. They just look like hungry, thirsty for some, some water. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep my tuck if I want just my front to curl. I like styling it with just like a little tuck and then leaving it forward. Um, that's my hair, yeah. I can then tuck it all the way back. The other thing I do check is, yeah, see what is this guy doing? He's got a little mind of his own. I don't know what that is. So I can just use the iron more as just a smoothing piece just slowly go over the little guy and then he'll lay kind of more nicely or behind my ear and then he'll have like a natural curl to him. I think I'm calling my hair him and her. I don't know why. Um, any more questions? I'm available. Um, I think another time, another kind of fun book that I did this weekend with Sports Illustrated was, uh, we did like a blowout, so it blow dried it, but then I don't like it when it's too just straight, straight. So we blow dried it and then we added some just like natural looking waves with a straightener, which is like a whole other process that I would like to master myself. Someone did it for me. So I'll practice it a few times because I think I got it down and then that would also be a fun kind of texture to show because it's a little different. like. I, I'm definitely someone who now wears my hair out all the time. So finding like different ways to wear like thick hair out can be interesting. And I think it was kind of a variety in uh, hairstyles that was nice. Okay, do you see all the products I use? Do you have any questions about any of them? This is your result. I would also love it if you guys did it and showed me how it went or try it and then let me know if you have any questions following actually doing it yourselves. Maybe next time I'll, uh, we can do it together. Maybe you can do your hair at the same time and then you can live ask questions, which would be cool. No, so I got it. If you have curly hair, do you have to straighten it first? You don't. I sometimes do this, depending on the climate I'm in and like my hair texture and what it's gonna do. Sometimes I like to just let it dry. Like if I'm somewhere where it's hot and it's not gonna take forever in the winter, I pretty much always blow dry it just cause it's too cold for me otherwise. But if I can just let my hair naturally air dry and it's like big, messy curl frizz ball, I just blow dry the part so that it does what I want, whether it's straight or a little to the side or middle or whatever it is. And then I find the waves that I do have even more volume because my natural texture is just super voluminous. So then when I do the exact same process with the curling iron, it just kind of holds bigger which I do like. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of big hair. I just don't like it at the top. I like it out. And you'll see me if you are around me. I think my like tick is I'll just do this when in the day if I'm feeling like it looks too done or if I don't feel like it's sitting the way I want. And that gives me volume around like the top of my head, which is usually what I'm after. Yeah, see, and if you also I learned from a hairdresser, you just kind of like pull pieces out lightly. Look how big it's getting. Like just depends what you're looking for, but that kind of gives you more impact. All right, guys, it's 1.30. That was a 30 minute process. Now I get to have pretty hair all day and into tomorrow. And again, when you wake up in the morning, you can do like a quick touch up if any of them's like gone totally astray or a little spray and just kind of like revive it with a little bit more shine and holes. But pretty much you're good until your next wash. I hope you've enjoyed. Write me and let me know what you guys wanna see because we can do more tutorials. We can talk more about, you know, skincare or hair or, or fashion or we can do some cooking and I can show you what I use in the kitchen. So let me know what you wanna see and uh, I'll make it happen for you. Any last remarks, questions, I'm available. Um, okay, catch you next time. You can write me on Instagram, you can write me on Vera Shop, and I'll 
be back on Bear Shop next week and we'll do another tutorial in the category of your choice. Thank you for your time, guys. It's been really fun. See you soon.